Hello there everyone, today's video is all about the new corporation tax rates which are coming in with effect from April this year, 2023. So, unfortunately, it adds a layer of complexity to the corporation tax world in addition to, unfortunately, being higher rates of corporation tax. So just to recap where we are currently, 19% is the default rate of corporation tax for any size company, no matter how much profits you're making, you pay 19% on the lot. The trajectory of the tax rates was going to go down. There was talk of it becoming 17% at one point, only about three years ago. But because of the pandemic, we had to pay for it somehow. And the politicians decided one of the ways to do it was to increase corporation tax. And we know that Liz Trust was going to re reverse that proposal but unfortunately she didn't last five minutes and then when Sunak got in and his chancellor said no we're going to reinstate the initial proposals to increase the corporation tax so this thing is in it's coming in three months time so what does it mean let's go through some numbers to illustrate so 250,000 pound profits if your company is making more than a quarter of a million pounds of profit you pay tax at 25%. That's the first rule. Next one. If you are making profits in your limited company of £50,000 or less, you go with the existing corporation tax rate, 19%. So, less than 50 grand, 19%. More than 250 grand, 25%. So, what if you're making somewhere in the middle? So, what if you're making 150 grand. Well, when you're in that situation, that's when this thing called marginal relief kicks in. Now, marginal relief basically means that you are not suffering the full 25%. You are getting relief from having to pay 25% when your profits are between the lower limit and this new uh, upper limit. So, Let's have a look at some numbers. 250,000, that's the profit. 25% corporation tax. That's a tax bill of 62 and a half grand. Yikes. Okay, but what well, if you're making more modest profits and you're not exceeding the lower limit of 50 grand, well, then you're on the existing 19%, which works out at 9,500. So 50,000 profit, Nine and a half grand, 250,000 profit, 62 and a half grand. That's a difference in tax of 53 grand on a difference in profit of 200,000. So going from 50 to 250 is a 200 grand difference in profit, and it'll cost you an extra 53 grand in tax. So looking at that as a fraction is called the marginal rate. So the marginal rate is 26.5%. That's the difference between, or the, the fraction, 53 grand over 200 grand of profit, 26.5%. So, let's just think that through. You might say, hang on, I thought they signed the, you said the top rate, 25%, and yet this marginal rate, 26.5%. Yes, it is. So let me explain again via an illustration. Let's assume now we've got a company and they're making 150 grand profit. So pre-tax profit, 150,000 taxable profit. So remember, upper limit, lower limit. It falls right in the middle. So how, did they, how much tax did they pay? They pay? They're making more than 50, but they're making less than 250. So what is their tax bill under this new regime with this so-called marginal relief in place? Well, we're going to show you. So, first of all, you, you look at this thing and say, right, 150,000 of profit, we're going to divide it into two slices. Look at the first 50,000, and we're going to tax that at 19%, i.e. the rate, the existing rate. Then, on the next 100,000, to take us up, up to 150,000, that is taxed at 26.5%. That is the marginal rate of earning business profit between 50 and that 150. Indeed, up to 250, 26.5%, like I've shown you down here. So 
that's 26,500 plus 9,500. You've basically got a 36 grand tax bill, but that's how you work it out. 19% on the first 50 grand and then 26 and a half percent on the next. You say, hang on a minute, how can 26 and a half percent is higher than the new highest rate of 25 percent? Yes, it is. But. When you look at the, when you, because you've got some of it at 19%, the total 36 grand as a fraction of your 150 grand profit gives you a marginal tax rate of 24%. So overall, in total, you've got a 24% effective tax rate, which is less than 25%, the new headline max, maximum rate. So even though in calculating it, you have got a, 26 and a half percent marginal rate overall comes back to 24 percent hence the term marginal relief because the marginal relief is one percent because you're paying 24 percent not 25 percent but in the calculation this incremental tax on your profits above 50,000 is 26 and a half percent not a lot of people realize that in fact not a lot of people realize that it's an all or nothing play here. The new rules aren't saying once you earn business profits above quarter of a million, that's when 25% kicks in. Oh, no, no, no. The whole lot of your business profits, you're at 25%. So if you earn, bang on, the new limit, 250,000, the whole thing is at 25%. Not... Not like how SDLT works, which would be something like, say, profits less than 50, 19 percent between, say, 50 to 100, 20 percent, 100, 150, 21 percent. And then anything over 250, 25 percent. No, no, no. That's not how the new rules work for corporation tax. If you are. If you have profits over 250. The whole lot is taxed at 25 percent. If you have profits below 50, uh, below 50, the whole lot is taxed at 19. If you've got profits between 50 and 250, you've got this marginal rate and you will have an effective rate of somewhere between 19 and 25. So you'll never pay more than 25. But the marginal rate of earning more is is this tasty 26.5%. So this brings us into the realm now of corporation tax planning. So it's so crucial now to have a look at this and plan and say, what can you do to get your business profits below these trigger points? So the first trigger point is obviously, um, is obviously 250,000. So we, we know we've just worked out that anything, any profit level below 250,000, you won't pay 25%. In my example of 150,000, it's 24%. If that 150 had been closer to 250, that would have been something like 24 point something, 0.7 or 8 to be closer to 25. But the point is, if you are over the 250, you want to try and get below 250, if you can, to try and get something in the low 20%. Now, the one of the Best ways you can do is to make corporate pension contributions. Making corporate pension contributions, always a good thing from a savings retirement angle anyway, but on the purely on a tax saving play, that's going to get the taxable profits below that trigger point. So let's say you're earning 270 grand a year in your business. Pay yourself, um, if you can, the 40 grand annual allowance for your pension. That's going to get you below 250. That's going to get your margin, your... Uh, if total effective tax rate down um, to below 25. What about then if you are in the dreaded margin, the, the bit in the middle? So let's say, let's say you are got a profit in your limited company of 75,000. So 75,000. So the first 50,000 is at 19%. The next 25 grand that you make, you're being taxed at 26.5%. So for every pound extra of profit above 50 grand, it's costing you 26 and a half P in corporation tax. So that's the big one. You want to get out of that if you can. So again, how can you get your profits down from that example, say from 75 
to 50. Well, cash flow permitting, again, do something like a corporate pension contribution. Tax deduction on that gets you down to that 50,000 level. So you get rid of all of this 26 and a half nonsense and you're back at 19 percent. So corporation tax planning never be more crucial as it's going to be coming up to get out of some of these dreaded marginal bans and then effective rates of tax. Because we haven't known levels like this for many, many years in the UK. You know, 15, 20 years ago, it was quite common for particularly larger companies to pay 30 percent plus of corporation tax. But we've had such low tax for so many years, like we've had low interest rates and low all sorts of things. But unfortunately, we're now looking like we're in a world of increased tax to stay at least for the for the medium term so we need to plan around it um in addition to this there are also rules about what to do with um if you have associated companies so again if you have more than one limited company actually the point at which these figures kick in is is uh, reduced accordingly so if you have uh, another business if you've got two companies that you own you run that figure is halved and so is that figure. So again, scope for for um, planning and, and various things. And, and then particularly, um, this marginal relief is not a brand new concept. It's been knocking around before. Everything in the tax world gets recycled. And this was in about 15 years ago. And the planning was to engineer, if you could, profits in associated companies to be below um, below a certain level. It's easier said than done through legitimate tax planning if you're using management charges, but you've got to be careful on those as well. But again, there's all sorts of things to think about. So man management fees, genuine management fees between associated companies, corporate pension contributions, all sorts of things that you can legitimately do playing by the rules to make sure you're not suffering this dreaded 26 and a half percent marginal rate which is higher than the highest official rate um that's how it works they're the math it's a bit by the way it's a bit like reducing um when you get over 100 grand of personal earnings and you have your personal allowance clawed back so even though the highest official rate of income tax is 45 percent you are paying 60 percent on that marginal band between 100 and 125 because of the clawback of the personal allowance. This is kind of a similar thing where there's this marginal rate higher than the actual highest, highest published uh, tax rate. But anyway, just uh, an overview there on the new corporation tax regime coming into the UK from the 1st of April 2023. Make sure you're ready for it. So hopefully you like this video. If you did, please do remember to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you soon.